Hi, everybody. It's November 8, 2018. First, I want to say to everybody that leaves comments, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I've always had a problem responding to comments. I was better at it years ago. But, well, I'm going to be talking about what is happening to me what is happening to an awful lot of people around here? What is happening to a lot of you based on my read of your comments? Um, but I, I thank you because I don't have anybody in my real life to talk with in a serious kind of in-depth way about what is taking place. I have no support. I get no feedback. So the only thing that I count on is you guys leaving your comments. I want you to know I read them. I Something's going on with me that I'm really struggling just to do things and I'm not quite sure what's happening. It could be stress overload and or the frequencies. So let's get into it. Mind control by cell phone. I am telling you guys with the smartphones and the iPhones, you really need to be careful. They are emitting frequencies from these cell phones and they can emit frequencies that can change you. Many, I've seen articles, many people are going back to the flip top phones. I wish everybody would just go back to the landline because I can't stand this world that has manifested. But yeah, mind control by cell phones. Now I'm going to link below to the articles and in an effort to keep this as short as possible, I just want to read the subtitle here, electromagnetic signals from cell phones can change your brain waves and behavior. And they can do it very subtly that you wouldn't even recognize the difference in you. But I have received comments from people who are saying they are no longer their, their, their own self. I feel like I'm no longer myself. And I do have to put in effort to be very attentive to me, to others, to my surroundings. That's what this time is demanding of us. An awareness that is sharp. The self-awareness, the awareness of your surroundings, and the awareness of others because anything can change on a dime no joke i've experienced with people something very off and people behaving in ways that they really should be ashamed of and there's none of that i see none of it it's like a disconnect, a lack of self-awareness that is frightening because you don't know what these people can do or what they can be made to do. But here, in first, science, uh, scientists use sound waves to control brain cells. I'm just showing you that mind control is happening. It's absolutely happening. I'm going to read some on this list, 40 mind control patents. I will link below to everything. You can get into it, but look at the dates. Take note of the dates. 1956, hypnotic inducer. Apparatus for producing visual stimulation, 1958. All right. I also want to bring your attention to very good articles on this one site and I'm going to recommend that you check this site out. 
government technology to read your thoughts and implant new ones. When I recommend a site or articles, generally it has to do with the article and the references, the sites, the uh, footnotes or endnotes that the article contains, which means that you can go and actually verify what is written in the article. Now, remote neural monitoring, what is it? Um, this is not the one that I highlighted. So let me see. Yes, this is the one. Remote neural monitoring. I know that a lot of you know about this, but there are people who are just waking up. And unfortunately, um, it was late in the game for me to wake up. So it's rather late for people to just wake up. And that then demands of you an awful lot of time and energy to uh, get up to speed. We are facing a time when, like no other, with people behaving in ways that is so unprecedented. And I do think that they can get people to behave in a certain way if they have that tendency within them. But let's see, electromagnetic frequency emissions. Now we are saturated in electromagnetic frequencies, which I'm going to show you later. But these electromagnetic frequencies, the microwave frequencies coming from cell towers, Gwen towers, cell phones, smart meters, Wi-Fi, all of these electronic gadgets saturated now. You know, as I speak, the hissing, the high-pitched hissing that I'm hearing, that's microwave hearing. That's tinnitus caused by these electromagnetic frequencies that are artificially produced by man. So electromagnetic frequency emissions from the brain can be decoded into current thoughts, images, and sounds in the subject's brain. It sends complicated codes and electromagnetic pulse signals to activate evoked potentials inside the brain, thus generating sounds and visual images in the neural circuits. With its speech, auditory, and visual communication systems, remote neural monitoring allows for a complete audio-visual brain-to-brain link or a brain-to-computer link. And if, when they emit these frequencies, that resonate with the frequencies in your brain. They can link it to a computer and control you. No joke. No joke. Um, list of mind control symptoms. I've recommended this article before, 2003. And embedded in this article, are the scientifically proven, yes, microwave hearing, it is scientifically proven that these, um, the sounds that you hear, some people hear it as a knocking or a chirping, buzzing, hissing sound, which is under the, the umbrella of tinnitus, that is microwaved hearing. When you are getting this microwave hearing, they can actually be in training your brain. That is why we see the frequencies being emitted so strongly from our Doppler radar stations, the extremely low frequencies that I have shown over and over again. Why do they occur at night and early morning? because they're in training brains while people sleep, robbing people of 
their REM stage, the rapid eye movement stage, absolutely necessary for that deep sleep. And that is when the body heals. If you are waking up feeling exhausted all the time, you are not experiencing that REM stage, which they can take away from you with these electro, uh, with these um, electromagnetic frequencies, the extremely low frequencies, the frequencies coming out of Doppler radar, as well as cell phones and cell towers and Wi-Fi and smart meters. And you know what? People are so now addicted or lazy. They just don't get rid of any of it. There, I'm so grateful to all of you who have left me comments saying you got rid of the smartphone, you're back to the flip top, you finally got rid of Wi-Fi, and you have hardwired your internet connection, you're working on getting rid of your smart meter, because I know that that is the only thing that is going to keep you from getting worse. So. Uh, and it's the only way that you could possibly get better, feel better. Um, so what are these symptoms? Microwave hearing, transmission of sp specific commands into the subconscious, visual disturbances, visual hallucinations, inject words, numbers into brain uh, via electromagnetic radiation waves, manipulation of emotions, reading thoughts remotely causing pain to any nerve of the body, remote manipulation of human behavior, and they can do it from space. Don't leave me a comment. There is no space. Yes, we have space, and we do have satellites that emit electromagnetic radiation, uh, harassment, stress symptoms, such as helicopters flying overhead, or it really should read stress symptoms from helicopters flying overhead, or very loud noises, lawnmowers continually operating, harassment, are people changing and becoming mean and acting in ways that they know will hurt you, and then they hurt you, and then they don't care? Oh seeing as in a camera through your eyes, control of sleep patterns, computer brain interface, uh, complex control of the brain, such as retrieving memories, implanting personalities. And for each subject heading, they go through, uh, they give you all of the studies and experiments so you can check it out unfortunately a lot of people it doesn't matter anymore facts and evidence don't matter it doesn't matter that an article is footnoted or endnoted with all of the documents that prove what the article is saying people are now at a point where they are just saying it's not true it's not true you're crazy when we get to that point when we've got a whole lot of people doing that we're in danger we're in big trouble. You know, even just this Berkeley brain machine interface article where they can tap into the mind and they can decode and reconstruct people's dynamic visual experiences. They can reproduce movies inside your head that no one else sees. They can get into your dreams and memories. And this is what we are living. It's not coming it's what we are living already. Obvious and non-obvious uses of electro, uh, electronic mind control. And here, control over the autonomic nervous system. Now, I'm going to read this because I have never said this before. I have never come across this before, but it makes perfect sense to me considering what they can do with the electromagnetic frequencies. They can simulate anything out of the blue. It's not happening, but you will think it's happening. They have literally warped reality with the use of these frequencies. 
So control over autonomic nervous system. You don't have conscious control over that nervous system. But the harassers do. <clears throat> Excuse me. A subject of electronic mind control is defenseless against these autonomic nervous system attacks. And when the attacker controls a target, who can control a target, um, they have the ability to accelerate or slow down your heart rate, create gastrointestinal problems, sickness, vomiting, induce gluttony or appetite loss. I have experienced, I've lost 20 pounds since I've been in South Carolina, which was um, four years ago, 20 pounds. My appetite has so drastically changed. Uh, force or prevent sleep. I have read numerous comments from people who are saying, they can't stay awake. They're falling asleep during the day for hours and hours. They literally cannot stay awake. I read more comments from you guys saying you can't sleep or your sleep is continually disrupted. That's my experience. I kind of wish that I experienced some of that forced sleep, but it would probably be not the healing kind of sleep that we need to feel better. Anyway, induced dreams um, are made obvious to many targeted individuals at least once with vivid visuals that don't fade from memory after coming awake. How many are you of you are remembering any dreams now? How many of you are having really vivid dreams that you remember very easily. Um, but as well with this control of the autonomic nervous system, they can create a wide range of disruptive or threatening effects. Getting you to gaslight your own self during your sleep so many claim that people, uh, the, the targeted individuals, and let me say this out loud, as I have said in other videos, targeted individuals are not crazy. They are being targeted. But how? What's happening, really? When they have these electromagnetic frequencies, they can get you to think someone else is doing something during at, at the time that you're sleeping but it's actually you doing it wow so if you're wondering how teams of break-in artists are somehow able to get into your bedroom and move things around without alerting anyone including you what if you were made to do those things yourself using this electronic mind control. What if you are brought awake and you move things around and you go back to sleep and you wake up and you can't remember anything and you believe that yeah there are these break-in artists as well with the targeted individuals but what if they're not breaking in and you're being made to do this? Now there's a a sleep medication, oh God, I can't even remember the name, but it's very common. And many people have done things when they're sleeping and they then are awakened. Many people end up in the kitchen eating, stuffing their face with food, 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 food. Then they go back to sleep and they wake up and they don't have a memory of it. Or many people get into their car, um, what the hell is that name of that sleep medication? It should have been taken off the market, but people are still using it. 
If they can do that with medication, they can do it with electromagnetic frequencies. Perpetrators who are impossible to catch in the act because they aren't really there. As explained above, sounds may be made to seem like they're coming from any direction. Thus, a targeted individual may hear sounds indicating someone has intruded upon their property. They'll call the police unnecessarily and they may even, when the police are there, talk about their targeting and boom, they're picked up as being crazy and thrown into a psychiatric institution and that is happening. Uh, with these electromagnetic frequencies, even just I've learned that the crossing of the scalar beams can produce sounds like explosions or those sounds, mysterious sounds being heard all over the world and geez it's so mysterious we can't even figure out where they're coming from. They can cross a scalar beam uh, the the, uh, the scalar technology. We the, these are invisible weapons. So that could also be happening. You may overhear conversations or mysterious sounds coming from your neighbors, highly insulting or threatening conversations by neighbors. But it all can be simulated using voice cloning technology. So check out this site. What I love about it, it, it does have all of the, um, the scientific experiments, the documents that prove, that prove that this is happening. It has been happening for a long time. So what were those mind control patents? Um, just to read some of them, hypnotic inducer, apparatus for producing visual stimulation, an apparatus for producing visual and auditory stimulation, nervous system excitation device. Look at the dates. They've been on this for a long time. Hearing systems, radio frequency, microwaves. Method of an apparatus for producing swept frequency modulated audio signal patterns for inducing sleep. They can induce sleep. They can make you feel like you just can't stay awake and boom, you're asleep. Method of inducing and maintaining stages of sleep in the human being. Apparatus and method for remotely monitoring and altering brain waves. 1974. Device for the induction of specific brain wave patterns. 1980. Uh, the auditory subliminal message system, which we have been hit with ever since they brought out the TV. Uh, but this is a method of brainwash. Method of changing a person's behavior. Method of and or uh, and apparatus for inducing desired states of consciousness. Keeping people at a low consciousness. Subliminal acoustic manipulation of nervous system. Communication system and method including brain wave analysis and or use of brain activity. RFID tracking of patient specific orthodontic materials. Isn't it interesting that we had this explosion of Um, braces. I had very buck teeth as a kid and the dentist told my mother she doesn't need braces they will eventually fall into place and they did and suddenly it became cool for kids to wear braces. Identification system and methods, RFID attached to dental structure. Now, even before these 
RFID tracking uh, devices, they were putting into people's mouths devices for tracking. Now they're so small that, well, I guess you would need x-rays to see if you could spot them. How many of us have those in our mouth? Systems and methods for stimulation of neuronal activity. Your neurons in that brain of yours being stimulated or inhibited. And these frequencies coming out of every uh, source, all the antennas and cell towers and cell phones, smart meters and iPhones, particularly dangerous. You're putting it right up to your ear. Those frequencies go right into your brain and affecting your neuronal activity. Really important, those neurons firing naturally. Well, guess what? These pulsating frequencies are disrupting our neuronal activity. And they are now not firing naturally. But look at that method and apparatus of pulse infrared light for the in inhibition of central nervous system neurons. Infrared light and we went lead. Lead. Everybody's buying lead lights. Well, that's your infrared. And it's pulsing. Affecting your central nervous system, those neurons. Systems and methods for stimulation of neuronal activity. Just want to point out how, just an example of how important that neuronal activity is. If it's stimulated, if it's, if it is brought to either going faster or slower, inhibited a wide array of medical conditions and associated pain can be caused inside the human body. Migraines, headaches, they're all connected to neuronal activity in the head, uh, movement disorders, epilepsy, cerebral vascular diseases, autoimmune diseases, sleep disorders. Wow! Explosion of sleep apnea. Autonomic disorders, urinary bladder disorders, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. That commercial, suddenly people are having difficulty hmm, with incontinence, uh, subnormal metabolic states, disorders of the muscular system, neuropsychiatric disorders, depression, anger, anxiety, a whole range. So actually before I, um, well let's just do this. This is today. Do you see the ripples in that very thick cloud substance that has completely engulfed the sky horizon to horizon? There are your microwaves. Microwave. And did you see that pulse? We are being subjected to dangerous microwaves. And lately, I have been evidencing them in the sky. They are visible. They're right out there. You take a camera, the camera going in and out of focus, you've got a pulsating frequency. I've also seen a lot of military activity up there. Anybody else noticing military activity in your skies that are that seems to be increasing? Don't know what kind of jet that is. I hear I hear military um, 
jets late at night. But this was yesterday. Microwaves all over the sky pretty much the entire day. Oh, that's right. Earlier in the morning, it was clear. Boom. They hit us with all of the geoengineering, the chemtrails, and then they spread it all out, and then they create a thick mass of artificial cloud. And there are all of your frequencies at work. This is affecting all life. That's why our trees are dying. That's why, well, we have a 70% loss of insects just today, another article, the, uh, the pretty, it, it, the butterflies somewhere in Florida, I can't really remember what it was, but they're gone. The, this is killing all life. This is so serious. When you do the research and you learn what can, uh, the effects of these frequencies, and then you do further research and find that they have weaponized these frequencies, controlling populations in all countries. And you see how radically changed our sky is pulsating um, and people are just going about their business like like it's fine something has happened to our populations so how they can see this and not recognize something is drastically wrong with our sky you got me But these frequencies, boy, they are causing me to feel like I'm no longer me. And a pressure in my head now that it, it, it is so hard to function, to think clearly, and to do anything. And you let me know if you are experiencing the same. Do you feel like everything now that you just did automatically without even thinking, now you've got to think. All of these microwaves, when you see this, it's not just up there. These microwaves are going through you. When you see this in the sky, these microwaves, these pulsating microwaves are affecting every cell in your body. You may not feel it. You don't see it. But every cell is being affected. Which will eventually bring that person into a state of bad health. making everything hard. And it's not just affecting people physically, it affects people emotionally. So with all of the crazy behavior that I am seeing in people here, they not caring at all about behaviors that they should know. They should know is so immoral and they don't care. When I see that happening in someone that I was very close to, that scares me. Now, I also know that people have issues that if they do not work on, then they can behave 
like Carl Jung said, if you're not going to be taking a look at your dark side, um, those you know issues that a lot of us acquired in childhood, and you are someone who's so defensive and will not go there, well, people can kind of become really vicious and shaming and all of that kind of stuff. You know, Carl Jung put it that if people, uh, those people who refuse to look at their shadow can do the most absurd, can fall into the most absurd behaviors. Well, I will say not only absurd, but violent behaviors as well. But the, the experiences that I've been having with um, the property manager, the maintenance guys, and it's not just me, but other neighbors, neighbors, two neighbors. I only talk to really three neighbors here. Two of the three are looking for other places to live. They can't stand it here anymore. Um, the threats that come from the property manager Threatening, threatening people that she knows have no where to go. And then it, it's like, what the hell has happened? Like a mean spirit. This did not take place last year when I lived here. Everybody got along. Everybody was nice. Wow. Things changed drastically. The property manager and neighbor said to me, I can't believe you're still here. Well, she doesn't know I'm stuck. But... She said, I would have moved. What they are doing to you is so wrong. You know, the eviction and then the, ah, uh, you can stay here. And um, the, uh, the turn and the meanness of how they are behaving. The unpredictability. You can't, you're left feeling threatened. You don't have any security when you have people who are in positions of power who can do things but you haven't done anything to deserve it that's when life gets scary so now i'm told to get rid of the cats uh, it's so mean their la how they behave what they say it's all mean they like they can't even be nice but another one, another neighbor, seems to have been targeted as well by them. An elderly woman who feels now suicidal, has nothing to live for. She had a, a very close relationship with this property manager. They were really good friends. Suddenly the property manager turned on her. Then the property manager shows up. Everything's hunky-dory. They're back being friends. That was last week. They're not friends anymore. The maintenance guy shows up at this tenant's, the, the elderly woman's apartment, and says that the property manager is lying. Who would do that? Who would do that? It's like they purposely want to hurt you. All of this creates a lot of stress. A lot of anger, a lot of tension, a lot of fear, a lot of insecurity. It, it's, it's like nonstop here. What you have been watching is video that I have taken just from the last week. Every day. Every day saturated and toxic poisons that they are spraying upon us. Then you see the coupling of the frequencies, pulsating. No, we can't make America great again with this going on. So I'm sorry, Trump supporters. You're deluding yourself. Look at this. I mean, you see that green band underneath the bottom white 
It was green. We don't have green skies. This night it was green. And then you have the white, and then you have the gray, and then you have the black, and then the white, and the gray moving through the white. The black sitting in the white. You got a gray, green band, and then more black. And people aren't noticing this. Yeah, we have something very wrong here going on. So, you know, we've got aluminum, we've got barium, we've got lithium. Lithium can show up pink. We've got pink skies all the time. But a pink that a lot of people believe, what, is uh, the beautiful sunset? Well, have you not noticed that the sunset now seems to be north, south, east, west? Really? We've had sunsets with lines of pink, and then it looks purple, and then another line of pink, and blobs of pink, and no. They're dumping lithium on us. People are sick here, chronically ill. Three people, just last week, three people, the exact same day, came down with sinus infections. Two had a really difficult time getting rid of it, had to go to the doctor, um, antibiotics. I don't know anyone who feels well. But when you look at these guys, and nobody seems to want to look, oh, I, I have my ways of pointing it out. And that Wi-Fi that you're living in, and the cell phones that you are so addicted to, and you can't get it from, you know, even three feet from your face. You're just watching, watching, not even three feet. What am I talking about? Maybe a foot. Um, yeah, but you know what? People don't care about their own life anymore. They really don't. And I have heard from two neighbors, no joke, one who just moved in, who is 41 years old, and we just got to talking and then talking, and I guess she felt comfortable, and she said that she just wanted to end her life. She's gone through a lot. I had to throw in Buster. She has gone through an awful lot. Oh, right, her husband died last November of a very rare disorder. He wasted away. And then some guy started stalking her. Then she moves up to North, uh, New Hampshire to get away from all of that. Then she moves back. Now she's working at the Holiday Inn, the front desk, $9 an hour, no benefits, nothing, can't get ahead. and doesn't feel like she has anything to live for. The elderly woman that I go to visit with her dog told me yesterday, has told me several times, but yesterday she said, I can't do this anymore and I, I want out. I thought, all right, ask her. I, I kind of knew what she was talking about, but I thought maybe wanting out. This is the woman who had that close relationship with the property manager who was hurt about eight months ago from her, now re-hurt, uh, not knowing what the hell is going on, because the property manager now is acting like she can't stand her. Um, she just said, I, I, there's no, I have nothing to live for. Now she's got family, but there's a lot of family discord, and there's no talking to her, her two sons. Uh, granted, some of the stuff that has gone on, she's kind of brought on herself. And boy, if parents could just say, look, I'm really sorry for what, you know, I did. No, parents don't seem to want to ever apologize for what they do. But look at this. Now, do you see the pink tint in this lovely chemtrail? It didn't look like any of the clouds were moving. Just this chemtrail moving along. Nanotechnology, cloud, communicating with each other. No joke. Nanotechnology, 
can make one cloud move while everything else remains in position. So sorry that this went on, you know, you have to recognize how dangerous all of this is. And if you're still sitting in Wi-Fi, you haven't done anything to reduce your exposure, you will. Eventually, if you're not already experiencing a lot of symptoms, you will. And once you cross that line and become sensitive, the cumulative effect of these frequencies, you can rapidly decline. Subscribers now diagnosed with Parkinson's and a whole, I oh got a range of medical issues. Yeah, many of us are. Looking at shortened life time. And a vanishing of all things that brought joy, that that uh, that brought a quality of life. Look at the sky, so saturated in toxic chemicals, artificial clouds, shapes that are just so unbelievable and you would think that people would just see it and go what's going on but no 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 so the people who refuse to act responsibly who are still wanting to live life as if they're in seventh grade having fun We can't not look at them as anything but the enemy. They are preventing us from ever getting anywhere and living a reality that sustains life. They create the madness that we have to live. And that kind of pisses me off. So. That's it, folks.